Okay, so here we are at the craft table, and now we're going to get our project going. This is what you're going to need. Some circle punches, a decorative punch. If you have a butterfly punch, that's what I'm using today. So any kind of decorative punch that you want to use. Some brads of different shapes, eyelets of different shapes. A uh, chain, a little piece of chain, about an inch and a half, two inches, and the little jump rings. We're going to need those. And your eyelet setter, which is a crocodile. You'll also need some glitter, very fine glitter. And you will need some tacky glue. You will need a brush and a jar of water. This is the We Are Memory Keepers crocodile that I use for my eyelet setter and hole punching <coughs> combination. So the first thing I wanted to show you is, like I said, our April project challenge is going to be using our eyelets and brads in the projects and finding different ways that we can use it. So every video for this month is going to be incorporating the things in my craft room that I don't normally use. So the punches are one of them. So I'm using, utilizing that here in this. The uh, jump rings, the chain, the brads, the eyelet, and my glitter also is another item that I don't use as much. Now in the past, we've done an altered paper clip challenge. So you've seen me do that. And the technique I'm going to show you today for this project, you've seen me do in another video as well. But I'm going to go over it again for those of you that are new. So welcome to my channel. And if you want to have different project ideas, easy 10-minute tips then to unlock your creativity, then this is the place for you to be. So hit the subscribe button. And also, if you could be kind enough to hit the like button, because that helps me to be found in search. I really appreciate that. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to make a little mixture of our glitter glue. So I make my own glitter glue, and this is how I do it. So make a little puddle of glue. I'm using the Aileen's Tacky Glue. Okay, let's see, do I want to sprinkle or do I want to pour? And I'm just going to tap a little bit, covering the whole top of the puddle of glue that I just put out. And I would say it looks to be mm, not quite a size of a dime, but that gives you a point of reference. So you can see how much I have here. All right, now I'm just going to take the tip of my brush and I'm going to mix the glitter in with the glue. You want it's you don't want a huge brush. So I have like a medium. Uh, what is this? A number. It's uh, so much stuff's on here, I can't even tell. It looks like it says a... I don't even know what it says. Anyway, about a half an inch tip on your brush size. And then this glitter glue. Let me put a little bit. Did I, I don't know if I've even opened. I think I did open this one. Yeah, I did. Okay. So I have one that's more of a silver, and then this one is more 
of, I don't know what color. Let me see what it says on here because it kind of escapes me. Transparent Stardust. Okay, so now all we're going to do is paint the glitter glue right onto the embellishment. So your little punch embellishments that you made. I may not have enough to do all of these, but just to give you the idea of how to apply it and how to make them. And then I will show you the ones that I've already done that are right here beside it, the green ones, those I've made already. And I made those last year sometime. Okay, and then immediately put your brush into the water because we're working with glue and I didn't do that with my last brush and it's glued itself so I'll have to rinse it with warm water and soap and then clean it up and then it'll come back to normal. All right, so let me come in close so that you can see. Isn't that pretty? You can see the shimmer. It was just a very plain matte paper like this and then I just did the same technique and I did the same thing this one I had used um, my die cutter and so there's three different flower shapes and then I just layered those and I used the glitter glue on each one and so then now I'm going to put this one on here and then we're going to make a cute little dangle charm and it can be used as a bookmark, can be used on the side of a journal page, anyhow, any way that you want to use it. That's fine, but I'm just going to show you how to make this cute little embellishment. You may have seen somebody else make these. It's not something new. All right, so let me set this aside here. And the first thing I want to do, because it's going to be these two pieces, and this one will dangle off of this piece, and so the chain is going to be between them. And I haven't decided yet if I'm going to let it dangle that far down, or if I'm going to loop it up like this. So, but I'm thinking I might just try this first. So we're going to put an eyelet here and we're going to put an eyelet there. And I happen to have these orange cute little eyelets that will bring out the color from the center of this flower. Isn't that pretty? I just love that. And I'm going to put it right in the scallop top. So one here and one there. And then it's going to dangle in between. And then this little flower is going to be glued to there. All right, so now on your crocodile, there's two size hole punches. So depending on the size of your eyelet is going to depend on which one you use. There you see that one. Very easy to do. It just depends on where you want the hole placement. And you see how the little piece of paper gets stuck? If you just push, turn it over, and shake, it comes right out. You don't have to get a pokey tool out and try to worm it out of there. Because it has a little rod that pushes the paper out and you just turn it. And now the size of your opening that you want to put through the eyelet, and I have to really squeeze hard for me to do this. Open it up. You can see how it opens up the little back of that really easily. And depending on the eyelet, because I have uh, some 
brass ones and I mean I really have to squeeze hard so this one actually I didn't have to squeeze as hard but you still want to squeeze a certain I'm already getting out of breath just doing that actually I was punching when I had to punch these out and the butterfly punch is got a crack right across the metal and let me tell you that thing is very difficult so I had to put a piece of cardboard over the top and then put all my weight to get it to let me see I may not need a let me see where's the little opening on this guy sometimes you might need a tool but if it's not oh, yeah and sometimes you can just do it with your fingers okay now this getting it through the eyelet this is when the tool comes into handy yeah, I'm gonna have to get the tool fold the whip apple cart okay here they all are all right I'm gonna use you pliers 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 okay you know it's like when you don't use them all the time you begin to forget what is that called and just like the little pokey tool you know I mean it's like you know I'm sure there's a technical proper name piercing tool who knows all right so you see how much easier that is so you, you need to open it up to a certain size and you need the little pliers to do that okay so now we're going to get another one you want the ones that have the flat side to hold this and the rounded one it's okay to open it but I have found that it's too tricky trying to get that opened a little more and probably to get the pliers out of the way I think you're seeing all this pretty good there we go okay I may shorten this let me see I don't like it that long there that's better I can cut that off later paper there we go all right now I'll cut that little bit of chain off later on but isn't that cute look at how cute this is now you got a cute little dangle but we're not through don't go anywhere I'm going to cut you off of here because okay now let me make sure I don't cut the wrong one that's gonna be a very crying video I don't want to cry I've been crying enough over the news lately I don't want to cry over my project okay <laughs> make sure I don't get the wrong one mm. oh. well meanwhile back on the ranch okay I will I'll fool with that one later okay so next we're going to glue this beautiful gorgeous glittered flower that I made to the center Of this one okay let's see where we want to put him and we're just gonna hold it here in the center 
for a little bit, 15, 30 seconds. You want to give that tacky glue time to set up. Okay, don't be in a rush. Take your time. We're not on a timer. We're just making these for our enjoyment to give to friends, put in our journals, use however we want. Okay, so now this is what I came up with. How about if we turn this into a bookmark? I thought that would be really fun. And you can put it on a page in your journal, your book, obviously. So, and I use little journals. My gratitude journals. Okay, so to make this is so easy. It's stinking easy. It's just so ridiculously easy. Take a piece of paper. Cut it. Put your paper, plip, paper clip on it. Uh, pa have the paper just a wee bit bigger. Now turn it over. And on the open spots, you're going to put the tacky glue. And if you find that there's another glue that you like that's strong holding, then by all means, use it. Okay, and then lay it down. Again, hold it in place. Don't just plop it on there. You need to hold it in place. And we're just going to let it sit there saying how much it loves the other paper. And then the tacky glue is going to do his little job and go to work. And he's going to become friends with the other piece of paper. Now I'm rubbing in between the paper clip opening because that's where I put glue on the inside. Okay, now I'm rubbing on the other side of the paper clip and this side of the paper clip. And if any glue oozes out, that's okay. But we just want to make sure that paper and the glue are sticking to the paper that we have it at. Okay, now this instance I want to make sure any of the glue that has seeped out, I'm going to wipe it off because I'm going to be turning this over. out of the way. Ah, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. Now, down here, I was thinking, what would I like to put there as a decoration? Now, I thought of, I could use a word. I, you know, we know we all have words printed out and embellished. So I thought, well, maybe one of those. And ah, then I thought, well, since I want to use my brads as well in the project, so then I thought, well, let's get a little, one of our little brads. And let's see, I have these beautiful green ones that kind of like blends in. And then I have these beautiful cream colored ones. I like that one. Okay, so now what would we like to put in the center of this <clears throat> that is going to make this really pretty, really stand out, and that we're going to attach with our brad? And it won't matter on the back because we can cover that up and I'll show you how to do that. And all you need to do is get your circle punch out. And then we'll put and cover up the little back and your, what is this? <clears throat> Why is there never a number when you need the number? One and a half. Okay, so this is your one and a half circle punch that we're going to use to cover up the brad in the back. So let's look through our stuff. 
and see what we have that we can put. So what I'm thinking is for some reason, I'm really leaning toward um, lace. I'm thinking lace would be really pretty in the center of this. So let me get a piece of lace. And so I'm looking around the craft room. I do have this pretty shimmery, but I want to cut it in a circle. And I'm not going to put it through the die cutter right now. I don't think... Have you ever punched fabric? I've never punched fabric. Let's see if we can punch fabric. I wonder if I could punch it if I had it on a piece of paper. Oh, I hope I don't mess up my little punch. But, oh, if I could just hold on to the silly thing. Do not attempt this at home if you do not. <laughs> I think it seems like I had my husband try this with me one day. No, nope. I'm hearing, I was hearing like crunch sound. I'm sure you weren't hearing the crunch sound at home, but I was hearing the crunch. See, look, it did. And somebody said you can do this with your die cutting machine, that it will cut fabric. So I haven't put that to the test yet, but I want to do it. Okay, so this is pretty good. I'm just using the circle that it was cutting as a guide and just clean it up on the edges here. Now let's put the piece of lace. Okay, I like that. But it still needs something, don't you think? I think so. What do you think? What should I put? There has to be something else. And I'm crying. Try, 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 try netting we have cheesecloth have this piece of kind of sheer sheer fabric see you can see my hand through it Thought about maybe a piece of that, but then you're gonna. I don't want to take away from the pretty glitter thing. Okay, well, maybe that's all we're gonna do. It just seems like they're it just. This will work or not. Ooh, this might work. Okay. All right, I have this vintage trim, and this just seems like to be speaking to me as the perfect. Thing. Okay, so this is the side I'm looking for. Yeah, let's see the flower. I love that. Oh, perfect. Okay, so do we want the green one? Green and white. Yeah. Blue and white, I don't think so. All right, so... I thought I saw... Yeah, so the white with the blue. I like the white with the blue. I really did like that. But I'm trying to just decide. Blue and green, no. Blue and white? Green and white. Blue and white? Green and white. Which one is going to win? Alright, so cut a little smidgen of that. Lay it down. Okay. Get 
right in that shape like a butterfly. It looks really pretty. Okay, so now will this big cream one, will that look nice in the center? It's trying to, let me get my... Okay, so we're going to hold it like this. Now, help me decide if I can hold on to this silly thing. Okay, so that one, and that's kind of picking up this cream over here. I like that. And I don't believe I have any uh, a bigger... Okay, so now this is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to attempt. So, first... This is vintage, isn't that pretty? I've had that for years and years and years. All right, so I'm going to go with a small hole. Hopefully it will not fall apart on me. Okay. There's that. Okay, very good. Okay, now we're going to take the lace and the this is the problem with this kind of a punch okay now we're going to put this right through there through the lace i like it i like it so now you have that you have that very pretty oh i love it now we're going to open up the brad on the back. Okay. So now we have our beautiful paperclip dangle. We've used eyelets. We've used a brad. We've used our punch. Vintage trim. Vintage lace. Die cutting machine and chain and jump rings. Look at that. And a paper clip all in one cute little project. Absolutely adorable. Now, I'm going to show you on my evergreen journal. Oh, it happens to be right here. I can get him without knocking everything else off the shelf. Okay, so this was my cute little needle book that we made together. And here's my Rebel Quilter. I just love this thing. So pretty. It's just gorgeous. Okay, now let's open it up. Right here on the front page. This adorable dangle is going to go right here. Look at that. I love it. See, what the uh, everything we add, all of the embellishments, that we make that are so special to us. When we are using our journals and we open it up and we revisit each of these projects, it just brings joy to our heart, doesn't it? Absolute endless joy. Looking at the labor of love that went into making each and every one of these pages is just a, a joy each time. So now I have this beautiful paperclip dangle in my evergreen journal. Just makes my heart so happy. All of the beautiful tassel, all the embellishments that I added on here, just everything about the journal. The matchbook journal that I made for the back cover. Oh, the just, you know, completely Endless Beauty. That was one of our altered paper clips. So, and each and every page. One of our beautiful envelopes that we decorated with fabric. One of our hidden pages. Taught you how to print your artwork onto fabric, put it in the journal, using magazine pages, making a pocket. So, this, I hope you enjoyed this video. And our April challenge of using your brads and your eyelets and all the things in your craft room that need to have more love shown. 
and I hope you enjoyed this project of making your own glitter embellishments. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And let me show you what I did with one of those. Let me find him. Oh, now I have to find where I put him. I thought he was in here. Two seconds. Two sec oh, here he is. He was on the craft table. I had it out so that I could show you. Okay, so this is what I did. So I had the scallop. Here's the butterfly. So it's two butterflies. Just bend his wings up, glue him straight down, and use foam tape on the one between the butterfly and the scallop to, to raise him up. And then I made a wire antenna. Isn't it cute? Just adorable. And then... Um, liquid pearls okay that's it look at how beautiful this is so this butterfly can go onto this scallop and he can turn into something that beautiful isn't that gorgeous okay so i hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for being here with me today tune in with, with me on monday or tuesday for our 10 minute tip video and it will be also using your eyelets and your brows Stay safe and keep creating in the sunshine. Bye-bye.